The Arizona Cardinals are in a very unique situation at quarterback. It's really been a mess since before the season even started, and Arizona is going to be faced with a very difficult question very soon, and that is, what the hell should they do with Kyler Murray? Now, the Cardinals did a good job at last year's draft, occurring draft picks for this year's draft, and it's going to help them out big time. The Cardinals currently hold the third overall pick at this upcoming draft, but they also own what would be the 18th overall pick from the Texans because of that trade that Houston used to take Will Anderson. Of course, that can change depending on how the rest of the season shakes out, and Houston being good this year no doubt hurts the Cardinals in that trade, but regardless, it's still a first-round pick, and talent is going to be there wherever that pick ends up being. But the main question with that third overall pick is should they go quarterback? There are going to be some good quarterback prospects in the first round, but do the Cardinals even want to take one? As you know, Arizona still has Kyler Murray, who they took first overall back in the 2019 NFL Draft. He tore his ACL at the end of last season, and he's back, and he legitimately could be playing for his job right now. It's hard to know what the Cardinals really want to do at quarterback. They're one of the worst teams in football. Football, but they have gone two and two since Kyler Murray got back. There's no doubt in my mind that the Cardinals are a better football team with him behind center, but are they confident enough in him to keep him around and not draft a young quarterback? Now, this is a draft with a ton of quarterback talent. At the top end, you have Caleb Williams and Drake May, but even after that, there's a ton to pick from. Jaden Daniels is skyrocketing, and he's definitely going to be able to supply that mobility that Kyler Murray is just so good at. Then there's guys like Bo Nix who are rising fast and could definitely shape into a franchise quarterback. With all that being said, I don't really know if moving on from Kyler Murray is the wisest decision here. I'm not going to say that he's perfect, but to act like he's broken or something like that or can't be a franchise quarterback in today's NFL is an absolutely ridiculous thought. This is a guy who went first overall at one point and he's proven that he can ball. The Cardinals may want to just move on and start from scratch, but I don't know if I'm in the same boat. The biggest question for the Arizona Cardinals is a hundred percent Kyler Murray because even if Arizona had the first overall pick if Kyler was balling the out, they wouldn't need to draft a quarterback no matter what. So a lot of it does come down to how he plays. In his four games so far this season, Kyler has completed 60.8% of his throws for 864 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions, but he's also rushed for 106 yards and three touchdowns. Now, he definitely hasn't been as good as he has been in years past, but you have to think, he's getting used to everything back from that torn ACL, and he's learning a whole new system now that Kingsbury he's gone. So I wouldn't stress out too much. We've seen that Kyler Murray can be a good NFL quarterback before. From 2020 to 2021, he played in 30 games. In that span, he completed 68.1% of his passes with 50 touchdowns and 22 interceptions, and he rushed for 16 touchdowns. His value is not up for debate, but is he good enough for the Cardinals to not pursue a young quarterback? Now, I will say it really doesn't help that the Cardinals look completely different now. Jonathan Gannon is the new head coach, and they even have a new general manager in Monty Austinfort too. The reality is, this regime didn't draft or extend Kyler Murray. They just kind of inherited him. They don't owe him anything, but it would be pretty hard to move on from him immediately. Kyler Murray is in season one of a five-year, $230 million deal. The Cardinals could get out of his deal after the 2027 season, but there's little to no shot he's not on the team in 20. 2024. He'd be a $81.5 million dead cap hit, but then it does quickly go down. 2025, 33.2 million, 2026, 20.2 million, 2027, 7.2 million, you get the idea. It'd be tough to move on from him right now, but moving on from him eventually is entirely possible. I know that Kyler Murray has had his problems in the past, but I truly believe that the Arizona Cardinals should just stick with him. I would personally invest in building around him instead of taking a young quarterback and starting from scratch again. A new shiny toy at quarterback might be enticing, but may I remind you that Kyler Murray was once a first overall pick for a reason. He has the skills and tools to be a great NFL quarterback, but I do think a few things need to change in order for him to reach his full potential. For one, it's no secret that Kyler Murray hasn't exactly received the most help when it comes to offensive line. Probably one of the best years for the team, at least offensive line-wise, was 2020, which you could say is 
is arguably his best year in the pros to date. Like, that's not a coincidence. This is a guy who's been running like a chicken with its head cut off for years, ever since he's gotten into the pros. Yet, every single year, we sit here and wonder why he struggles. Now, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses for the guy. Kyler Murray makes mistakes like every other quarterback in the NFL, and he's definitely frustrating at times. But the fact of the matter is, it's really hard to evaluate a quarterback when they're under that type of constant pressure. If he's able to perform while running for his life, just imagine what Kyler Murray looks like with a somewhat stable offensive line. The Cardinals have a chance to make his situation so much better with this upcoming draft. And I promise you, if you can give this guy a competent offensive line and a stud wide receiver like a Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, Roma Dunze, there's just so many guys to take. I really feel like Kyler Murray will succeed in Arizona. Clearly, I think that he should stick around and the Cardinals should build around him. But that might not be the consensus in Arizona. I do think that in order for the Cardinals to move on from Kyler Murray, they'd have to be absolutely in love with whatever quarterback prospect they could take. Yes, third overall is right there at the top of the draft, but that's also kind of a place where you don't know if they can move up. They wouldn't just need the Panthers or Patriots to win, but they'd also have the tiebreaker too because of the worst strength of schedule. So the question really is whether or not they would even have a shot at one of the top two quarterbacks. Caleb Williams is still the number one until proven otherwise, but Drake May is right there with him. They've both been hyped up a ton as quarterback prospects, so we'll have to see just how that goes. The expectation as of now, though, is that they'll go 1-2, but who really knows come draft day? The appeal of Marvin Harrison Jr. could sway somebody away, but I do anticipate that the top two teams are going to go quarterback. The Bears currently have the first overall pick and could theoretically want to just stick with Justin Fields. I don't know why the hell they would. I doubt that they do, especially since they'll probably have a new head coach. So it's likely that the Bears go quarterback. And then there's the Patriots, who will also probably have a new head coach and are in desperate need of a quarterback because it's just over for Mac Jones. That makes it seem like Williams and May will be gone. But you never know, because the Patriots could always shock you and take a guard out of Chattanooga. Then at three, you have the Arizona Cardinals. And just what makes sense to me is that the Cardinals go with Marvin Harrison Jr. at three. And then if they really do want a quarterback, they just go quarterback later in the first round. Both Jaden Daniels and Bo Nix have risen a ton this college football season, and they could both realistically be options a little bit later. Then you still got guys like JJ McCarthy and Michael Penix and some other guys too. So if they want a young quarterback and like a later one, why not? I've seen a lot of different things when it comes to Cardinals mock drafts, from quarterbacks to wide receivers to O-line, but I have to say, probably the no-brainer pick at three is gonna be Marvin Harrison Jr. He's been incredible, maybe a little bit overrated. Regardless though, he is probably the best wide receiver in this draft class, and you cannot not take him at three. So if they can land him at three, that'd be huge. Then, like I said earlier, if they really wanna take a swing on a quarterback, they can always use that later first round pick to do so. They're going to be guys available at that point in the first round. Not everybody needs a quarterback this year, but I still wouldn't go quarterback. I would potentially even go O-line there. Having two first round picks is beautiful. It allows you to swing on the top of the top talent at the top of the draft and then kind of sit back and see who falls to the mid or later section of the draft. Because at that point, you really can just take the best available off the board. Having two first round picks is great, but you can't screw it up. You got to take the right people. And for me, I think that's Marvin Harrison Jr. at three and them kind of having the pick of the lot in their later first round pick. But personally, I don't see quarterback being super high on their draft board unless somehow they're able to squeeze into the top two and get a Williams or May. I don't really know who Arizona has been looking at in this upcoming draft, but personally, if you're not going to get one of those top two guys, I don't think it's worth taking one in the first round. There are going to be guys that fall to the second and third round and maybe you take a swing there, but I like Kyler. I think you should keep Kyler and draft a stud wide receiver and maybe some offensive line help at this upcoming draft, especially in the first round. For the rest of the year, it'd ideally be better for Arizona to lose out. They get a bye now, but then it'll be the 49ers, and that's an easy one to lose there. Then they close out the season with the Bears, Eagles, and Seahawks, and that's really four games for Kyler Murray to finish showing all of his worth to the Cardinals organization. Jonathan Gannon and Monty Austin Fort have some big decisions to make at quarterback, and that'll really decide the future of this franchise. So Kyler Murray has to ball out these last four weeks, or else the Arizona Cardinals are going to be looking for a quarterback come draft day. But it's not like they have it easy. If you miss at the draft, you suddenly don't have a quarterback. But if you skip on a top quarterback prospect that goes on to become elite, 
you missed out on a franchise changing player and you're screwed. It's really not an easy choice. So good luck, Arizona. Thank you guys for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you guys like this one, make sure to smash that like button. And if you don't already, subscribe to the channel down below and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload by us. Let me know what you guys think the Cardinals should do down in the comment section. I'm not a diehard Cardinals fan, but I do watch a lot of Cardinals football and care about this team. So I'm really invested to see what they're gonna do with this upcoming draft. Clearly, I'm very outspoken about them keeping Kyler Murray and just kind of building around him. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you want more things J and D, go ahead and follow us on socials at JDProdNFL. And if you want more things from me, follow me on my socials down here at the bottom of the screen because sometimes I post some stuff. I was ranting about Chris Christmas movies the other day. That's fun. But again, thank you guys for making it all the way to the end of the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.